what's up guys and welcome to my channel so for today's video i wanted to share with you guys um three of the games that i have made during quarantine that are drinking games that you can play with your friends or family or whoever you want they're super customizable and they're a lot of fun but anyways if you would like to see three of my favorite games that are really easy really cheap to play with your friends and family and drink then keep watching so the first game that i want to show you guys is um it's a it's called tic tac flip okay so it's basically flip cup but whenever you land your cup you go and you place it on the tic tac toe board this is the table oh it's upside down so it just says um tic tac flip i just drew half of it green and half of it purple i don't know why i chose to paint it like this it kind of just happened and i just made it like a little lawnmower with the grass and then this one just has bubbles on it and this tic tac flip and this does open and on the other side i drew the lines for tic tac toe it is kind of dirty because we use it a lot actually um and even if we just want to play regular flip cup we use this table right here this is actually a miniature table and as far as the rules go literally all you do is you have teams um, we usually put them on either side of the table and then you have people lined up in a row the first person they or the first people they drink their drink they flip it as soon as they land their cup they place it on the tic-tac-toe and then the next person in line goes and you just keep going until whichever team gets three in a row first then you win the second game that I want to tell you guys about is actually a card game and I love 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 this game this is one of my favorite ones that I've made um, this is the second time that I've made it um, and this time I actually made it way better than before um, so this is it this one I can get a little more a little closer so um, this is the game I'm just gonna pull out a card just to kind of show you guys how it is this is the little logo that I made for it. This is just an Avery sticker. Um, it was just plain white. If you go to Avery.com, then you can enter in the um, little code on the package and it brings up that exact label and you can type anything. You can insert pictures on it. You can do, all, there's all kinds of stuff you can do and you can just create your own. So I did, I did that to make my own logo. So now that's what all of the cards have on them as their like logo and I named it Drink Up. Um, I really don't know why I just wanted it to be really simple anyway so I just did that and I this is just a regular deck of cards and I ended up painting it um, on all of them I painted one side blue and that's like the side that was gonna have the logo and then on the other side this is what they look like um, they have all different things written on them they're like all different colors um, and then I just kind of wrote on them and made them real pretty I for as far as the paint goes I went to Home Depot and I got little paint samples. They come in like little quart size um, containers and you just pick out the color you want. They make it for you and it's a paint sample. So I think it's only like four or five dollars a piece. So I spent like 20 bucks and I got um, a few different paints. And then my boyfriend is actually a painter. Like that's what he does. Like for a living, he owns a company that's a painting company. So anytime he gets extra little paints at work or something or if he gets paint samples for a customer and then they ended up not using it, um, then he'll give it to me and I use them for little things like this. For the writing, I on Amazon, I bought these, um, they're like paint markers and they're oil based. Um, that just means that it's a little more durable and it's it really sticks and it's really like pigmented and they're so easy to glide. Um, and there's just a bunch of different ones. Um, I just kind of painted them and you know did whatever I want and the cool thing about it is you don't really like win the game the game is over when the cards run out so you can always add more um like this is a whole deck of cards that I have there's one that I'm the most proud of and I named it battle to death so this one I literally came up with it off the top of my head and people seem to like it so far but basically you have three lives so if I drew the card and I challenge you know Sally Ann and I lose I have to take a shot because I drew the card but if I challenge her and I win then I have three chances like I keep going she has to take a drink because she lost but if you win all three in a row then you're safe like you don't have to do anything but if you lose one out of the three then you have to take a shot so yeah I really hope that made sense um, but there's a whole bunch of different cards a whole bunch of different like things you can write on it and whatnot and just kind of make it your own 
Um, you can create your own logos with it. You can do whatever colors you want. You can make them super intense or, you know, whatever. But like I said, I like that you can just add and add and add cards to this game. And then say you just want to play like a quick game, you can grab like half the deck or something. Or you can like grab different ones. That way it's like different every time. You don't, it's not guaranteed that there's going to be a safe card. It's not guaranteed that you're, you know, getting all these terrible cards. Like it just, it kind of just depends. But this one's a really, really good one. I also forgot to mention that they are inside of these baseball card holder things. Um, so I just painted it and everything, put the sticker on it, and then you slide it inside. It opens up here at the top. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it opens on one side. All the other three sides are sealed. And the reason why I do this is because it's going to make it waterproof. So what I do is I take parchment paper, which is just like wax paper that, you know, you usually find it in, like with cooking stuff and you put it over it and then I get my straightener and I just clamp it on there and it seals it shut. So that makes these waterproof. So that means that the paint isn't going to chip, um, the, la the logo is not going to get dirty. Like it just, it's just protecting it. You can use any of them, like any of the baseball card ones, but I like these. This is the box that it came in. They're called top loaders. Um, I got 25 in a package. I got these on Amazon as well. The next game that I created, um, it's actually a cornhole game. So if you don't know what cornhole is, this is what the typical boards look like. Um, and then this is the one that I created. So basically on, as you can see, I painted the entire cornhole board black. And then I put painter's tape where I wanted the lines like to separate the, you know, the sections and everything. And then I painted each one a color, um, did it like just whatever colors. I used the same paint that I used for the cards um, and for the other table that I painted on. Um, and then I just painted each of them and I used the same markers, the oil-based, you know, paint markers. And I wrote on each one different things that I wanted to do. Um, and then this is just the board that I created. So basically how you play, if you don't know how cornhole works, you have two boards and I painted them exactly the same. I like, they're identical. And then you put it on either side. Usually you play outside cause you kind of like you're throwing bean bags. So you place the boards however far apart you want. You have teams. So there's two person on it, two people on a team. So there's a total of four people playing each time. And then you throw the bean bag. Now, as far as how the board works, like this is the drinking version. Um, the original cornhole isn't a drinking game. It's just a game that you play. You know, it's like playing horseshoes and like that. You just play to play. But you know, like I said, me and my friends drink every single weekend and we got bored of King's Cup and Fuck Your Neighbor and all those games. So um, how you, you know drink or whatever is whenever it is say it's my turn and I'm throwing the beanbag to the other side whenever I have a total of four or five beanbags to throw I don't remember but you would throw it and whatever it lands on is what you have to do so I, I mean you guys can read all the different ones there's like take a shot there's um, every player drinks there's your partner drinks there's negative a point there's shotgunning there's rock paper scissors um yeah there's a safe spot there's like all these different ones so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you play and then yeah those are the three games that i have already created there's two more that i want to create if you guys like these type of videos like it so that way i know and maybe next time i can actually film myself like actually making it um instead of just talking about it anthony my boyfriend was telling me that y'all would probably want to see me actually physically making it so if that is something you want to see, let me know and I can do it. The next two games that I want to create is I want to do giant beer pong. Like, because we have regular, you know, beer pong in the house. But whenever we like barbecue and stuff like that, everyone wants to be outside and, you know, out and about, you know, whatever. So I want to get five gallon paint buckets and I want to paint them to look like a solo cup. So paint them red and then um, have like a soccer ball or something. And then you actually shoot it in there from across the yard. Why am I out of breath talking right now but anyways so i want to create that one and then um one of my friends he sent me a tiktok of giant jenga and basically you just get like a two by four and you cut it into however big you want the little jenga pieces to be um and then you can color or you can color on them or paint them and basically the same idea of these other things so whenever you pull it out you know if you get it then it'll be like oh take a shot or oh you know take a sip or oh you know play this game or oh you know whatever and it could be anything you want it to be and that's one thing that's amazing about these games 
because you can literally make it into whatever you want. So you can make it into a drinking game. Um, you can make it just a regular game. You could just do it for like literally anything or any occasion. If, say it's your friend's 21st birthday and you're trying to, you know, give them a gift. And I don't know, you can do this for anything. But anyways, these are all of the games that I've created. If you guys want me to make the other two games and actually film it, just let me know. But yeah, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and yeah, if you guys do recreate it, let me know, and thanks for watching. Bye guys.